Hi, Chuck Woodbury with RVTravel.com, and I'm here again with Larry McGaw of RV Comfort Systems, and we're talking about his cheap heat system, which uh, enables an RVer to use their furnace on either gas, which it comes with, or, or electricity. So, my question to you, Larry, is what's the, the heat that's going to come out when somebody's hooked up to your system and using yours? How's that going to compare to uh, someone just operating on propane? You're going to find that the temperatures are real closely related, uh, whether you're on gas or electric. One of the things that you need to understand, uh, whenever you're talking about what is the input, and you start to try to compare apples to apples, with a gas furnace, a gas furnace is not 100% efficient. If you remember, that flue, you go out there and touch it, it'll burn you. The, the, the flue pipes are kind of a, a, sometimes have a little blue or a purple to them, and they have to get to 550 or 600 degrees to get that kind of temperature. What that means is 40% of all the energy that's going into the gas furnace is going out through the flue. Yeah, and essentially, when I walk out the front door of my motorhome with the heater on on a cold day, and I kind of walk toward the back and I hit that, I mean, there's a lot. I could stand out there and be warm. There's so much coming right. out, and that's what you're talking about. Right, right. With a 40,000 BTU gas furnace, for example, yeah. they're always, whatever you see a rating on a furnace, they're talking about how much heat is going into it. Mm -hmm. So it's 40,000 going in. You take 60% of that, that's only 24,000 BTUs. Now, a gas furnace, if you remember on yours, mm -hmm. you notice how it has that kind of that time where it runs before it starts putting out yeah. heat and after it runs out putting out heat? That's called the pre-purge and the post-purge cycle. Yeah. 60 seconds in front and 90 seconds in back. So for every run cycle, you've got two and a half minutes worth of run time that you're actually not producing heat with the fire. So when you actually measure the heat output at the registers, you're going to find that realistically you're closer to around 18,000 BTUs of energy on a 40,000 BTU gas furnace. Well, a 5,000 watt electric coil mm -hmm. puts out just over 17,000 BTUs of heat, or 95% of what that 40,000 BTU gas furnace does. I guess the best way to explain it is if you take a temperature and drop it down inside that register, you're going to find that it's usually about plus or minus five degrees of what that gas furnace is going to do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, um, it makes sense that, um, no, let's just end it with what it's going to do, and I'll just say thank you. I, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. Now, what are we, did you want to talk about, um, I think we already talked about cost of operation. Um, yes. Yeah, we made the, I'm just going to thank you for now. Okay. Okay. Um, well, thank you very much, Larry. Okay. You're welcome.